Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Before we get started, I would like for you to take a deep breath. Relax your mind. Unstiffen your muscles from head to toe. Gently close your eyes and listen to the sounds played before you. Try to imagine what you're listening to. Now slowly open your eyes. What did you see? ASMR, Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. ASMR specifically refers to the tingling sensation felt throughout the body, mainly the scalp and neck, when exposure to specific stimuli is triggered. It was a second most searched word on YouTube in 2021. Throughout the history of life, sound has evidence of soothing and survival among many living entities. Different forms of sound have similar benefits for different people. But it's just a vast field. However, when we're talking about this, this has been around for ages. If we're talking about indigenous cultures and when we're talking about just African cultures, beating up the drum, stamping up your foot, humming, singing, all of that is ASMR here, but it's just kind of mainstream now and going very differently when we're watching people eat foods. But it all has its place in the field if people are willing to use it, yeah. Although ASMR is typically used for purely boredom, some consumers have found emotional, physical, and potential financial benefits from creating and consuming content. Besides the regular trials and tribulations of a black college student with a full-time job, Aaron finds much stress looking towards the future. I tend to think about the future a lot. You know, what's going on with my life, what's going on with my family's life, you know, um, how I'm doing and, you know, how that's going to affect my future. So I spend a lot of time worrying about that type of stuff. His daily thoughts take a toll on him. Over time, Aaron uses tools to help him disconnect from reality. Overthink, most definitely. Um, overthink. I try to drown it out, so I'm like that's where a lot of the podcasts, you know, YouTube videos come from. Exercising definitely helps too. You know, that's usually one time of the day, you know, like where I'm just focused on one thing and one thing only. Maintaining a positive work-life balance can induce much strain on college students. But personally, my weight is one of the biggest stresses in my life. These stressors cause excessive eating within her life. Um, probably anxious, overwhelmed. My stressors always make me feel overwhelmed, the feeling that I'm not able to lose the weight when I want to lose the weight before vacation. Um, even sometimes when I'm at my smaller points, I still feel that I'm not suffice in where I want to be physically with my body. To YouTube ASMR content creators, find stress in the fact that their parents are aging, maintaining a COVID-restricted lifestyle, as well as many roadblocks that adulthood creates. Being an adult. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Just that. <laughs> no, when you're, you're younger and they be like, enjoy the time you have now. You don't have no worries. Yeah. Still in college, you, you really don't have no worries yet. I would probably say when you hit like 25, you're like, okay, this is part of real life. And then you get a little older. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. But definitely just adulthood. I want my money back. I want a refund. That I definitely agree. Adulthood. The, the thought that if you ain't done this before you done that, oh my gosh, that is a stressor. And I think that's why I did my channel. As Aaron grew older and became more aware of his feelings and stressors, he decided that it was time to take positive action on his emotional state. You know, for me, like I, I'm actually been, you know, diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder, mild depression. Um, just getting help in general, you know, just admitting that you have a problem, getting the right help, talking to somebody, talking to a professional, you know, maybe medication, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. And then also, you know, I use, you know, what you call like ASMR, like my podcast. 
they help me, it's like, you know, they give me an outlet, you know, so I turn them on and I'm in that world. When struggling to cope after weight loss surgery, Malia stumbled across a unique soothing technique. Um, watching mukbang ASMR videos, it helps to almost curb the hunger cravings that I have. Watching somebody eat in the manner that I would eat almost creates a mirror effect for me. Um, seeing them dip chicken in a specific sauce and then biting the part where I would bite and watching somebody complete those actions creates a satisfying effect for me. Their motivation to continue to create ASMR content on their YouTube channel provides them with a sense of nostalgia and admiration for hair care and food. It's honestly another avenue like self-care and relaxation. It brought me back to like when you're a little black girl in the salon, you're getting your hair done and they're washing your hair and just kind of rubbing all through it and it's just really relaxing. Well, I do them because it is a form of therapy for me. Uh, food was definitely a situation where it was overpowering when growing up. But now, doing mukbangs, I kind of feel like I took that power back. ASMR on a therapeutic scale is far from being a serious consideration in the scientific world. However, some therapists in practice are considering the use now and even more after extensive evidence is proven. Well, I do role playing anyway at, at times with, pe with, 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 uh, with people. I teach them how to do role playing at home and uh, power talking and, and yeah. Psychodrama is just a, it's, it's role playing on steroids. So yeah, I can see that. Now I see how, yeah, that could really be effective and very powerful, which means that it's gotta be done right. It can be dangerous. I mean, it, it's gotta be done very carefully. You know, putting stuff like this in the hands of uh, uh, people who don't know what they're doing could be a problem. I taught a psychology course where we brought this up. And this was one of the topics we, where we explored to see if this was something that was um, useful in the psychology field with clients. And we, I made my students look at videos of soap carving and when they're playing with the, <laughs> I think when they're playing with like the slime and it makes the kind of pocket noise. And then I even gave them the other ones where someone's on the mic playing with paper clips or just beating their microphone with some type of noise. And um, some of my students were like, yes, this would be helpful. Other ones were like, this is extremely annoying here. <laughs> See, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a therapist that will use anything that works. <laughs> You know, especially if I see it working consistently, I will, it'll be, it'll be high in my, my toolbox of therapy, therapeutic tools um, to utilize, you know? Um, I would say I would need to fully consider because it's something that I do automatically with some of my clients. If I'm doing a meditation with them, I'm playing sound waves behind me. If I am doing anything meditative wise within my words, I'm also doing some tapping or rocking techniques with it. When it comes to having things in their hand, I may kind of give them a YouTube video playlist of certain ones that I found that may be beneficial to them. But when it comes to being a therapist, I gotta think outside the box. Hopefully at some point in the future, sooner rather than later, we are able to experience the measurable therapeutic benefits that ASMR has in store for us.